Hello everyone. Welcome to the most interesting school year you may ever have been a part of. As you can see from the screen, I'm Mr. Vic, and we will be embarking on this journey together. While we accept that things are quite different from past school years, I'm hoping that through hard work, grace, and a wonderful sense of humor, that we can all make it through this difficult time. With all that being said, here's some things about me. Beginning first with the things that your parents probably care most about, I did go to college. Yay, me. After graduating from high school, nearly last in my class, I entered adulthood with a willingness to work. I quickly learned that I was not willing to work as hard as I needed to to survive being an adult, and therefore I enrolled at Dalton State College. Much to my surprise, I graduated in 2019 with a bachelor's in education and am currently working on a master's degree at Columbus State University. Uh, I have aspirations of one day earning my doctorate, but right now we're just trying to get through the uh, master's program. You'll see in this slide the greatest motivators for my hard work. No, I'm not talking about the dog. I can't stand that dog, but I digress. Uh, I am fortunate to have a wonderful supporting wife and two great kids. Uh, since you are curious, the dog's name is Oreo. Ugh, I can't stand that dog. A few other pictures of my children. As you can see, Brandon is in the top left. Brandon is 14 and Dylan is 16. Um, as you can tell by his football jersey, Dylan does not attend Southeast Whitfield, but goes to Dalton. And uh, I pray that you would uh, join my wife and I in praying for him because it's Dalton. What can you do? Um, in addition to my family and my kids, some things that I find interesting, which COVID-19 is systematically attacking. Uh, I love college football, specifically Alabama. I'm not a bandwagon fan. I'm entering my 40th year of screaming Roll Tide every fall. In my family, you weren't giving much of a choice. You were saying Roll Tide or you were finding a new family. So please do not label me a bandwagoner. Um, as you can see in the second picture, I do love going on cruises. I have been on three now and uh, I hope to go again soon, um, but I need COVID to go away. Um, if you had me last year, you understand that I'm obsessed with the musical Hamilton. I've since read the biography and I've started again reading the biography as well as just studying the man in general. I do enjoy other musicals, Lion King, um, Rent, 9 to 5, and several others. Um, I'm pretty much obsessed with movies and musicals in general, so prepare yourself for many quotes. Uh, Star Wars being probably my favorite movie. Um, I've watched it for as long as I can remember. So if you like Star Wars, all the way from the originals to the prequels to the ones that just came out, uh, I'm your guy. So hopefully we can share a, a common interest, whether it is a dislike or a fan of the new Star Wars series. The greatest influence on my life is music. Uh, I attempt to play bass. I play with friends. I have been in a band, but I promise you, you didn't want to hear us. And I currently play in my church a couple days a week. Um, my favorite thing uh, about music is I believe it is the common um, divide between mankind. Uh, despite differences in genre, musical styles, uh, lyrical content, every song has passion. It has a meaning. It shares emotion. And therefore, I try to give it a true listen. I often tell people that I'm a fan of music as opposed to a fan of a particular type of music. Let me say that again because it's my guess one of you is not listening. I'm a fan of music. So if you come up to me and you want to talk about 90s hip hop, I'm your guy. If you're a big fan of Little Scratch and Sniff or whatever current rappers out right now, I've probably heard of them. Again, I do have two te te teenage children as well as I'm on the internet. Uh, I enjoy death metal, Adele, musicals, uh, instrumentals. Uh, you'll see me on Friday night probably listening to the band more than I'm watching football, even though my background is in athletics. Uh, I just enjoy music for what it is. So hopefully there's a time where we can share groups and songs that we like in general, and we can share uh, information about musical tastes we like with each other. Before ending my, my presentation, I just, I just wanted to leave you with two of my favorite quotes that really helped me interact with history as a whole 
but just individuals. Um, you see a quote here. There's actually two of them from Niccolo Machiavelli. And the first quote explains why it's important that we pay attention in history class and that we learn from past people's successes, failures, or shortcomings. The first quote says, whoever wishes to foresee the future must consult the past. For human events ever resemble those of preceding times. This arises from the fact that those or they are pro produced by men who ever have been and ever shall be, animated by the same passion and thus they necessarily have the same result. You will find as we go through either world history or U.S. history, depending on which class is watching this, many characteristics and events that are happening today, which we can see the end result in history's past. It is our responsibility to learn from that and not duplicate it. The second quote from the same gentleman really helps us to appreciate individuals who we may have presuppositions or pre-ideas about and encourages us to learn from them in the context of their life and not just judging them on their actions. And that quote says, men judge generally more by the eye than the hand for everyone can see and few can feel. Everyone sees what you appear to be. Few really know who you are. So as we go through and you introduce yourself to new civilizations, individuals, uh, terrible, atrocious acts, and acts that may not make sense to you because we live in a different time, I just encourage you to dive in, do research, ask questions, and learn about why those things were taking place and how it helped to shape the world we now live in. So I can't wait to meet you. Obviously, I'm not there today, uh, but I will be back, and I just look forward to seeing you. Some of you I've had in previous years, and some of you I've never met, and I look forward to doing that soon. So have a great first day, and I'll see you in a couple days.